Dogs have feelings, and if you live with them and love them, you'll know this for a fact. To name a few emotions, they experience joy, fear, frustration, worry, and jealousy. Our emotions have a big impact on our dogs too. When we are depressed, thrilled, or anxious, they can sense it. Although many dog owners are aware of this and have their dog's happiness in mind, they might not be aware that they are unwittingly harming their dog's feelings. It is important to make an effort to understand our dogs and provide for their needs. Also important is comprehending how our actions impact our pets, particularly when they cause emotional injury. In this video, we bring to you 10 things that emotionally hurt your dog. Let's get started. 10. Not providing enough playtime. When you rush through the door, thinking of a million things at once, half-heartedly patting your dog on the head is one thing. Scheduling dedicated one-on-one -on -one time is quite another. No matter how hectic your life is, it's crucial to make time for activities your dog will like. A dog's level of happiness depends on the attention they get from their favorite humans, whether it's 10 minutes of fetch, a leisurely evening walk, or just snuggle time on the couch. 9. Using their crate as a punishment. For many dogs, their kennel represents a safe haven. Your dog can nap all day without a worry in the world if there is a comfortable bed and some solitude. For your dog, a crate should work in that manner. However, if you confine your dog to her crate as punishment, and worse still, yell at her while locking her in, the crate will no longer be a happy place. They'll end up bewildered and confused and probably start seeing their crate in a different light. 8. Not being consistent. Whether you have 1 or 50 household rules for your dog has no effect. Consistency is what counts. Don't decide to allow your dog snuggle on the bed while you're unwell and then scold him the next day when he gets up for a nap if sleeping on the furniture is forbidden. The same holds true for jumping up, begging and pulling on the leash. 7. Punishing fearful behavior. Dogs like humans can experience irrational fear. Commonplace stuff like skateboards, thunder, big trucks, the vacuum cleaner, or even a specific type of floor covering can make dogs anxious. They might tremble, urinate, and crouch in response. Your dog is clearly terrified if its ears are drawn back, tail is tucked, and its body is lowered to the ground. The best thing you can do for a scared dog is to keep your cool and remove it from a place or circumstance. The worst thing you can do is to make fun of or discipline your dog. 6. Yelling at them. Yelling is ineffective. Dogs have sensitive hearing and are able to differentiate between both high and soft sounds and different tones in your voice. They understand that yelling is a sign of frustration or anger on your part, but they don't have enough logical ability to associate it with their actions. Yelling at a dog can also lead to fear and aggression, sometimes making them react by biting or running away. 5. Teasing and mocking them. For cheap entertainment, many kids and even some adults turn to teasing dogs. The typical behaviors include tugging a dog's ears, impersonating a barking dog, chasing and frightening a dog with a stick. Dogs also dislike being interrupted while eating. Don't keep your dog begging for treats for an extended period of time, even when you are trying to train them. These dogs may become shy and insecure, or even hostile. 4. Ignoring your dog. Since dogs are social animals, they typically detest being left alone. While some dogs find solace in the presence of another dog, others need human company. In extreme circumstances, some dogs really experience separation anxiety and fear being left alone. When you are at home, spend as much time as you can with your dog. Spend some time getting to know your dog. Establish a daily schedule that includes lots of physical activity and mental stimulation. 3. Forcing them into uncomfortable situations. Your dog is kept in a stressed-out state when you force him into a stressful environment. Introducing your dog to the scenario gradually is preferable. Reward him for remaining calm and keep him at a safe distance. Exposure to the trigger should be increased gradually, and the dog should get praise for remaining calm. You can try to change your dog's phobia of the vet if that's what it is. You may need assistance from a trainer or behaviorist if the phobia is severe though. 2. Inconsistent commanding when you go home, you enjoy having your dog jump on you. When it leaps on other people who come to your home though, you reprimand it. Your dog will become irritated and confused by inconsistent commands. Instead, make a choice for each of these actions and follow that decision. 
1. Abandoning your dog. The worst thing you can do to a dog is to separate them from their human family since they are pack animals. A dog starts to think of you as the center of the universe after you bring it home. It now bases its existence on the affection and assistance that it expects from its human pack. Seek assistance from a qualified trainer or animal behaviorist who can focus on changing behavioral issues rather than leaving or isolating a misunderstood dog to the backyard of the house. The bottom line is, whether intentionally or not, you can end up hurting your dog emotionally if you're not careful. Taking note of these things and doing your best to avoid them will keep your dog happy and healthy. So, have you done any of the things on this list? Was it intentional or not? How did your dog react? Please leave a comment below.